Okay, so let's, uh, we're here, we're gonna try and look at how we could possibly look at um, <clears throat> Jacobi Gauss-Seidel and SOR as examples. So um, just creating uh, your three variable, uh, the, the, the example where we're solving x1, x2, and x3 here, that's the same as in the previous video which I've already solved um, for you by hand, but here, so let me put in the initial guesses. Now if you look at it here, uh, I'm going to introduce, uh, if you look at the actual problem we had. So in the actual problem, if you notice, um, the x1 update is in fact uh, 6 minus x3. So we'll, um, so it's 6 minus x3 and divided by uh, 2. So that's the first one. The next one then is similarly, uh, that was 3 minus x3 again. Okay, and bracket close divided by uh, 2 as well. So that's that one. This one is of course the same way. That one was 4.5 uh, minus x2. So x2 is over here, bracket closed, and also divided by 2. So that gives us uh, basically a Jacobi error, the first. So let's do um, here, this would be our zero of iterate. So this is our first one equals this plus one. And so if I copy that down here, that's nine. Let's do a tenth one. And so copy that down. And there we have it. That's the Jacobi. And you can see it's actually uh, it's actually uh, getting close to the actual solution. Similarly, let's do let's do Gauss Seidel. Also very easy and very quick to do. So I've just copied those. Uh, so what we'll do is let's just copy these over. And what we can, what we will do is in this one, clearly there's nothing we can do because x3 is used, x3 is used, but here x2 is used. Now instead of uh, me, instead of us using g16, we'll remove that, and in fact we'll use this one here, okay? Because that is available. Now that gives me this. That's essentially gauss seidel and if I do that copying, there we go. You can see it's much faster, of course, getting to the uh, iterates. Uh, it's achieving convergence to the solution about here. So very quick. Now let's move on and do the SOR. So SOR, uh, again, let's just copy over our three variables. Okay, and pause. Okay, so let's do the SOR. Now I've copied the gauss seidel formula over here. Uh, of course, the adjustment requires us to uh, do the following. We'll, we're going to do 1 minus, and we'll put our uh, point here for omega. Um, and not only that, but, I'm sorry, over here. And bracket close there, and then we'll say multiply that by the previous iterate, which is x1, the previous x1. And then we'll add to that, of course, uh, again, uh, this times, which is the value of omega, times this whole uh, full piece here. So that uh, should work. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to make this, because of, as I copy it, of course, we need to stick, uh, make this an absolute reference, so it doesn't uh, shift as we move. So there... Now, well, I have nothing at the moment here, so I'm going to put in uh, 1, because 1 means, remember, gauss -Seidel. So this is a good way for me to check uh, if it's working or not. So just I'll copy this. I'll copy this all the way over to here. Get one more. Okay, just let's copy that. And uh, we'll go into our next formula, this one, and copy it here. Okay, and of course we'll close the bracket here, and that should take care of the second one. And the third one, of course, in the same way, it's the same thing. Uh, okay, one thing I've just noticed that I've uh, kind of messed up in the previous one, which I will correct here. It's not actually J16, it's in fact this here, okay, just the previous iterate, remember. So, I'll, sorry, I'll go back here and let me adjust that. 
So it's not J16, in fact, it's the previous X2, in fact. Okay, so that basically, now, just to test it, let's copy it all the way down here, and we should see uh, these two, uh, this one here and this one here, to be identical. Remember, this is, just to remind you, this is the Jacobi. Okay, this is uh, Dow Seidel. Okay, and this is SOR. Okay, so now what you see is it's identical, obviously, to the um, Dow Seidel. Now we can start playing with this. So if I use a 0 0.5, okay, uh, which is an omega that is... So if we use an omega uh, that is less than 1, that's called successive uh, under relaxation. So, I'll so that is successive under relaxation. As you can see, it's actually slowing down the process. Uh, so it doesn't, it's overshot and it's not really working. Now, if we use one, as I said, that's just, uh, that's a bit faster. Now, if we start going in increments of 1.1, this seems to give us a perfect answer. Now, if I go 1.2, you'll see it starts to not be so good. So it seems that the optimal value is, um, we can try something in between. Um, that's good, but this is better. So clearly you can see faster convergence, actually convergence to the perfect solution in fact, which is which is quite interesting that we happen to hit on that. So this I hope it demonstrates to you how you can very quickly use Excel to experiment with the Jacobi Gauss Seidel and SOR and also gives you a good demonstration of how these uh, three methods for solving iterative, um, iteratively solving systems of equations, how they actually work.